Greetings, Keepers, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, where in the last episode, we discovered the source of salt. Now, there is a bit of a problem with the source of salt, as it comes from people. Though, quite a few people were very, very, almost disturbingly quick to point out, well, I mean, what can you do? I guess you're just going to have to accept that uh, you, you, you're going to make paper out of people's skin anyway, so... What's a little bit of salt between friends? It's not meat, so it's, it's not like full cannibalism. I see what you're up to. You're trying to convince me with, with, with beautiful lies. Mm, I'm not sure I approve. I'm not sure I can resist those, so we're gonna have to see where all of that goes. I really do want to try and be a good avac, though. It would make me happy. Uh, right, well, we've got cabbages on the way. We do have carrots, so I'm actually gonna grab some carrots. I'm going to try and feed them to Comrade Donkey. I really, really hope we can do that. Like, super duper hope we can do that. Let's get some baked mushrooms on the go. Uh, right then. Can I actually... Uh... Oh, I need ten. Wow, okay. That's, that's a bit much, honestly. Uh, how much have we got over here? We've got a decent amount of stone. It's very nice. We've got some firewood. Yeah, we can get some more iron uh, being made. Let's uh, go ahead and get you done then. I need some... Uh, more fuel, and then we can get all three iron in there. Now, in terms of the headstones, we really can't do too much with that. When are we going to be able to get the next one in those terms? We can get it now. Uh, it would certainly be worth me doing. Ceramic funeral urn crafted at cooking table with ash and a stone uh, columbrium. Uh, let's grab this. Unlock. I would very much like to uh, be able to make use of that. Can I gather clay yet? I think I probably can at some point. Let's uh, get... Well, no, we won't worry about glass for the moment, at the very least. But with that... We can now make stone fences, which we're going to do. At least a couple of them. Uh, then we are going to be able to pop the... We'll study one of them. But the rest we're going to pop down on some of the corpses that can do with them. It's a, it's a nice, simple little thing for us to make. It isn't too difficult. But we do need to expand out the yard here. How much is the expansion going to cost? It is going to cost... Complex iron parts. All right, we need a bit of learning to get to that, then, I would say. Let's make some more nails and some more uh, regular parts, though. Uh, there we are. One group of nails. Oh, we don't have enough for anything else. Okay, well, that's fair enough. Uh, just pop these in there. There we are. That's not terribly bad. Uh, we actually want these with us, so I'll, I'll take them with. In fact, we'll take that with as well. Uh, well we'll also, since we're here, chop down this tree. Might as well eat some more bread. Yep. Got to keep active. Yep. Now, we will be able to expand out in that direction before too long, I would hope. Now then, what have we got going on down here? Is Comrade Donkey going to drop back? Really, Comrade Donkey? Why would we do this? Can I? Can I? I can. I wonder. <gasps> Carrot seeds! Comrade Donkey! I knew it! I knew you weren't really angry with me. Not now. Let me talk with you, Comrade Donkey. Please. Thank you for the carrot seeds, though. One, two, three, four. What? Donkey deserves more carrots! I agree. What are you doing here? I'm on strike. What does that mean? It means I'm tired of being oppressed, and I'm not bringing you any more corpses. At least, not for free. I have a list of demands. First, I demand better working conditions. Grease the wheels for a change. I can't keep listening to the squeak. Okay. Second, I need a day off. So no more corpses on Sunday. And last, but not least, or Pride Day. I need better pay from you. These corpses aren't your property. They're like a natural resource, and I want my cut. Each new corpse will cost you five carrots in advance. You can place them in the special box here. I'll take the carrots from it. If you refuse, then you can find yourself another donkey. Oh, and there isn't another donkey. Ha 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 ha. Ah, comrade donkey, you're awesome. I do approve. I'm glad that we're somewhat friends. 
ish. Good. I'll just put my carrots in the box. Uh, I got some oil for your wheels. All right. We're going to have to get those. How many carrots have I got? I've got exactly five. Well, that's quite useful. Oh. Got to put ten carrots in there? Uh, I've got to pay for the cups you've got and the next one. I see. <sighs> Comrade Donkey. At this rate, I'm going to have to start calling you a capitalist. My lord. I do appreciate the uh, carrot seeds, though. That was particularly good. All right, let me grab another bunch of carrots. Okay, I actually quite like this mechanic. Quite like it, I must say. Uh, we could perhaps get some more farming done. Uh, let's not worry too much about that right now. We'll just drop those carrot seeds off. Also, while I'm over here, got to grab all the mushrooms. Don't pass up the opportunity for free energy. I mean, it's not free energy. I'm, I'm spending energy on it, but I think I'm getting more back from it than I'm spending. I hope. Ooh, there we go. We're getting a little bit more now because we got the gatherer perk. Okay, then we're, we're absolutely getting more back from it then. I like. I like a lot. All right, then, Comrade Donkey. We will play your game. There's your tank card. See? That wasn't so hard. Ha-ha! But this is only the beginning. Do you really need to do that here? Yes, I do. And what right do you have to complain? This isn't your road anyway. Enjoy my manifest. I used to think you were a nice donkey. I am, but not for you. But can't can't you be a nice donkey for me? Uh, I really like it if you would. Um, I've got to... Oh, I've, I've literally got to take care of that. Okay. Before you'll do anything else. Well, that's not exactly the best situation for me, really. Uh, we can get that one fixed fairly quickly. That shouldn't be a problem. Well, Comrade Donkey... I do approve of you asserting yourself. I, I like it that you're not being uh, walked over by the bourgeoisie, but I do wish you wouldn't consider me part of the bourgeoisie. I... I, uh, I don't know. Uh, right, we need to get that corpse sorted. This one we can deal with... Yeah. Remove. And then we'll replace it with a better grave. Yoink. Then tombstone. And then we'll pop down a little trellis around it. I know it's not a good grave for this at all. In fact, it really isn't. Now, how about you? You could do that. You'll actually gain a benefit from it. So we'll pop one down for you. There we are. Up to four. How about you? Definitely worth it. Yep. I will get that corpse changed eventually, though. There we are. How many more have I got on me? I've got one more and a, uh, a cross. I mean, I'd get something from it, sure, but uh, no point there. I'd get something from you as well. What about you down here? Are you just a three? No, you're actually a two, so I get nothing from uh, improving that one. Okay, I guess you're the lucky one then. Let's get you in there. There we go. Graveyard quality is now 18. Not at all bad. Let's have a look at what we can do. I need s ceramic funeral urn. And polished brick of stone. Wonder how big these are, though. That is interesting. Very. Uh, right. Let me remove something. Where? Uh, I can't see where that's going to go now. I think it was down there, though. It might have been. Uh, in fact, I'm fairly certain it was. So we're not going to have to worry too much about that, I'll need it. Now, how much am I going to need to make another crematorium. It, another couple of... Uh, but it, that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, not enough energy. That's fine. I'll just eat all of those berries I dug up earlier. Thank you. Pop this over there. We'll continue clearing up this little area. Seems reasonable, considering we've got a decent spade. Ooh, wow. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Let's try and ch uh, train them up. There we go. Now you. Pop it down there. Right, there we go. Let's take them all back. Should I go to sleep? I probably should, in fact. So, we will. But, uh, we've got a couple of extra logs, which is nice. And we've got loads down there that we can continue to move around, so... We'll make a point of getting that done. Right. Let's tuck it in for the night. Time for some sleeps. Only a little bit. Uh, that being said, it's NV day. Not really something that I care too much about is going to happen today, so we may as well just get back up. We'll get on with some more work. All right, then. So, all the iron is now done. Good. Let's get some simple iron parts. We'll take some flitch down and we'll repair 
the corpse board in the morgue. Well, the 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 uh, I'll grab all that. I need to actually make the fletch. Uh, I could destroy this now, actually. Might as well, thinking about it. Very well, destroy. I'm not going to repair it, so. I am going to want one of you for the sake of making uh, research, getting some more faith. So let's pop that in there until I get a chance to study it. The wooden marker, again, don't actually care about it. Might as well leave it there, really. And we can get some more mushrooms on the go as well. In fact, ah, oh, damn it, we could have gotten two mushrooms on the go. Oh, my bad. Alright, need some flitch. There we go. Now, we're not going to be able to do anything until we've got machine parts. That's just not happening. Now, to get the oil, I need a press. It's going to be a little bit tricky to get. But if I grow the uh, hemp, I can use the press out in the forest. That may be a wise move. Uh, it's probably a much better way of taking care of that. Grab all of these mushrooms while I'm here. Oh, that's fantastic. We're going to be able to get some pretty decent returns there. And let's get this built while I'm here. There we go. Oh, really? There we are. Donk. Now, we can actually straight up build a pallet. How marvellous. And we can have a couple down here, in fact. Hmm. I don't know, though, because I'm, I'm not even sure how many new items we're going to have down here, but sure, I'll pop one there. See if we can finish it right now. Not that we're going to be using it for a little while, but... Because Comrade Donkey is being very stubborn right now. What, are, what came over you, Comrade Donkey? I just don't know. I think he's been hanging around with capitalists too much. I am dis disappointed, Comrade Donkey. Don't think I'm not. Ooh. Good. Got plenty of stuff over there. I'm still wrestling with the idea of, of using the salt, honestly. As I said in the beginning, I wanted, I wanted to make this a good Avac playthrough. Alas! Salt. Mm. Uh, we can now get the poisonous mushrooms, and I think we will. Where well, we can, at the very least. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to make our way all the way over... Oh, have I got money on me? Oh, trap. Don't. All right, we could bring the uh, the burial certificate, but mm, awkward, very awkward. I wonder if we'll get more flowers by. Oh, we will. Excellent. I wonder if that counts for everything, like gathering honey, gathering um, apples. That would be particularly nice. I must say. I guess we'll have to go tomorrow then, if we want to to do that. I need to get some more faith before I speak with Miss Charm as well. So, I might need to uh, save up a little bit for that. That'll do. Thank you. Now, in terms of food, let's pop these down on the item there. Do I have anything I can drop off? No, not particularly, I wouldn't say. Oh, well, I guess I can drop off the flowers, sure. Uh, in fact, if I take the peat with me and these flowers, I should have enough to take care of... Uh, Everything I wanted to do in a uh, scene where the other flower arrangement can go in the graveyard. That'd be quite nice. There we are. Get rid of all of those. Marvellous. Now, we should be able to use... Oh, can I not pick that up? My inventory is full. Wow, okay. There we go. Let's drop off... Well, in fact, can I just fertilise this? I can't fertilise yet. Really? Look. Simple fertilizers. Oh. Do I not get to fertilize with peat? Hmm. That is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. That used to be something you could just do. Hmm. Alright then. Maybe they've just done away with that whole whole aspect. Oh, no, no, there we, well... No, there we are. I, it doesn't specifically ask for fertilizer anymore. All right, that's cool. Let's get some carrot seeds down. 
since they are by far going to be the more important thing that I can make. Uh, get some more carrot seeds. There we go. New. Get all of this fertilized while we're here. Honestly, getting this up and running early is going to help us out immeasurably, really. Uh, sure, wheat seeds here. And we should be able to start accruing enormous amounts of crops this way. Uh, let's drop off all of the seeds that we don't need to be carrying around with us. In fact, all of the crop waste too can go in there for now. There we are, that'll be fine. We'll get some going over here. I don't have enough peats to do all of this, and I don't want to use up the last time I peaked, so we'll just go for some cabbage. There we are. And I guess... Yeah, carrot seeds is all I've got. Alright, so Comrade Donkey is going to drop off seeds every now and then. That's an interesting way of doing it. Very interesting way. We do need a second one of those, though. We've got enough crop waste now to warrant it. Now it's going to be... Hmm, what have we got? So pride, gluttony, envy, sloth, uh, lust, or wrath. Uh, let me see, where are we? I still want to get rid of these. I know it doesn't matter because the corpses in them are so bad anyway that it's not going to be of any particular use to me, but it irritates me that they even exist. But our church quality, our, our graveyard quality is up to 20 now. That's actually quite an improvement. Right, can I drop off any more carrots? Oh, I can. Uh, all right. I guess. Very well. What we got here? Not the best corpse in the in the universe. No. We could risk it by trying to take out a brain or something. Uh, we do need a skull. I think I've already got one skull, but uh, this one we'll be taking with us elsewhere. Uh, so we're going to be going for the important parts now to try and. Reduce the... Ooh, very well done. That worked out fantastically well for us. Okay, so they had a particularly sinful brain. I don't know. There we go. Absolutely glorious body there. Fantastic work, us. Mind you, I haven't got enough uh, energy to properly bury it. Uh, as long as I can put it in the ground, I don't think it's going to decay anymore. Let's see. Pump. There we go. And that is why you pre-prepare the ground. Have I got anything I can eat? I can just straight up eat some carrots. That'll be enough. There we go. Beautiful grave. But I can't carry you. Much sad. Uh, Alright, well, I guess I'll drop a couple of things. Uh, we'll be back for that. Uh, actually, I can just drop something in here, thinking about it. Just pop that there for the second. Just so I can store this somewhere. It's the main thing for me now. Okay, that actually turned out quite well. We've got a really, really good corpse, which is definitely going to be worth putting in some nice stuff in there. Uh, can I pop even more in here? How many in it? Ah, right. We had to craft up. I, I get you. Now I understand how it's working. Perfect. Well, that works out really well, and that was luck. It's, it's always an element of, of, of luck when it comes to removing the important parts. Uh, right, we've got a number of things that I can pop down. Let's drop all of those off. All of these off. Yep, 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 yep. That's good enough. Grab those. Right, I would very much like to prepare... See, if I start doing that, then I'm going to start eating people, like, wholesale. I'm, I'm probably going to be just gnawing on the flesh. So we're going to resist. But we are definitely happy to make bread. And or cakes. And or wine. Mostly wine. There we are. You don't need sauerkraut. You just need wine. See? Alcohol stops you being a cannibal. True facts. Uh, do we have anything else we can use? No. I mean, it's not particularly nice that we're taking parts out of people, but... At least we're only taking the parts we need out of people, for the time being, at the very least. Uh, anything else we want to drop off there? Yeah, we'll drop that off, actually. 
clear out my inventory a little bit. We're getting to the point now where we've got a lot of uh, random odds and sods. Red mushroom shouldn't be used in cooking, all right? I'm just going to say that now, not wise. Don't use red mushrooms in cooking. It's not going to end well for you. Uh, do I have anything else I can eat, though? Um, don't have any... But you know what? Sure. We'll eat just some cabbage. No reason not to. There we are. That allows me to get a little bit more work done at the site. There we go. And then once we've turned all of this into dough, we can get a wallop load of bread made. And I do mean a wallop load. Such a, a hefty load of, of bread that if you walloped someone with it, it would actually hurt. Let's drop you off. Gonna need some more water. Got 15 faith still. I think we'll go into town tomorrow, just because I have business with the astrologer anyway, and so that'll take me past the hemp cellar. Uh, so we can pick up the seeds there, and also get the uh, the grease for Comrade Donkey's wheels. Greasing the wheels, really, Comrade Donkey. What have, what have you become? We've, we've taught Comrade Donkey some very bad habits, it seems. There we are. We're not... Yeah, we, we, sh we should be able to make all of the... The... Oil that we need just out in the forest. All right, let's get all of this made. It's going to be 28 bread. That's actually quite good. All right, time to drop some things off over here. All of the things, in fact. I'm going to need the sticks, though. So I would like to, uh, again, manufacture a couple more items. Uh, I guess we'll store the plants in the garden. I guess that makes sense. Why put it elsewhere? Right. Let's get another compost heap. And I'll leave a little space between them. Maybe. Depends. Or I can just have them very neatly stacked. Well, no matter what I do, I'm going to have a little bit of a, a gap there. Just kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, we'll do all of that then. I think that's fine. And we'll work up from the bottom. Thank you. I'm not going to have enough to finish that, am I? No. Of course I'm not. But I can get the other one going, at the very least. Right, let's drop these off. There we are. And I guess I'll store the sticks here for now. Nowhere else that I need to store them. Now, when we go into town, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to speak with uh, Haradric and get us some. Well, we're going to be we're going to be able to get Haradric to give us some money at the very least, and then we might swing by the blacksmith and get some complex, uh, advanced metal parts. I think that would be wise. Taking out more brains though is going to be an issue for us. Because they take up so much room. They don't stack. Bit of a problem, that one. Right, there we go. Let's get you on the go as well, please. And you. And then you as well. We'll have four. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. If we expand this entire garden out, then we will have use for that many. Absolutely. And some more berries. Excellent. Take these with me. There we are. Night time is almost upon us. I think I'll grab a couple more sticks, though. And we should be able to finish off another compost heap. And actually get it built as well, which would be good. There we go. One thing I'm quite uh, happy with is that we've not had a single instance where I couldn't reach it. Something that had uh, been created, as we had with some of the muffins getting stuck in the oven. All right, there we are. Compost heap just down there. That's all we need. Let's get that built. And that should take care of all of the composting needs that we have here in the garden. Oh, not quite enough. Okay, we'll build up to that. It'll take us a little bit, but it won't be too much of a problem for us. Uh, let's drop off what we can. That'll do. I don't think there's anything else we're going to want to take into town with us, so that's fine. And just time for me to turn in for the night. We'll have a full... Um, recharge of energy. We, If I can just buy the grease, I will. 
but it depends. It would be better to get the hemp seeds because hemp can be used in more things. If it's still the way that it used to work, then we'll be able to use the hemp to make rope, which in turn will generate um, some faith. So, killing many birds with one stone. And is there anything else we want to do down here? Can I actually gather any of this? Nope. It's fine. I will grab the mushrooms on the way, since we're now getting a really decent amount of mushrooms from this. I wonder why I never took that perk before. I think I... Well, I'm fairly certain I did take it in the end, but it was, it was basically because I had nothing else to invest my energy into. It's such a cool perk. Right, now hopefully you all remember where we're going. We're going to... Well, I, mean, I called him Duck. Or Dick. Dick Duck, sometimes. Because of what I said. But he seems to be far more lucid all of a sudden. I'm not sure I approve. Right, we'll pop in here because I am going to need to uh, grab some cash. Ooh, you're not playing dice. I'm not playing dice. That is very interesting. Oh, nope. Oh, there we go. Uh, should I sell some of these? Sure, we'll sell a little bit. There we go. What? A tal- What? No? But that's interesting. Hello. Ah, bad luck not today. When will it be the right day? Ah, it's frustrating. Alright. I've got a job though, so let's go and do that job first. Please don't just walk me into the, the inn. I know you're trying to help, but... Uh, we'll go to the astrologer first. Though, on the way, let's actually uh, check this out. Fresh eggs. Leaf. Uh, oh. We can now make... Ah, that's actually very interesting. We learned the recipe by interacting with that. Okay, I guess we should, uh, by the same token. Oh, hello. Uh, go and talk to the dairy farmer. <laughs> Ding dong, bing bang bong, dig I am. Am I? Oh, you, you've actually gone back to, okay. Here's the honey, I, I will get it for you. Uh, I would rather just buy the hemp seeds. Myself, I could just buy some seed oil. Though. Let's grab a chunk of hemp seed. There we are. <sighs> Comrade Donkey, you're worth it. I'll bring bring one. I think it was one that we needed. Uh, the vendor will unlock this tier of items tomorrow. Marvelous. I can always bring firewood if I absolutely need to, and that's where we could press the uh, the hemp into oil. Was it hemp seeds that we had to press into? Oh, I don't think so. Three apples at a time. My lord. What a bounty. Have you. Four apples. Truly, we are blessed. Yep. Now then, astrologer, I have your skull. Criminal though it may have been. Here you go. Not terribly clean, but every bone is in its place. Seems you have a talent for anatomy. The human body is so mysterious, perhaps even more than the sun and stars. I believe one day you'll learn much about the human body and the soul, and then you will find yourself absolutely lost. Now, as we are now partners in crime, what is it that you want from me, my curious friend? Uh, I need your help. I need to open the portal. A friend told me that you might know how to activate the portal in Witch Hill. I've never heard about it. Maybe not exactly never, but at least not for many years. In another life, I had a friend. By the way, he was a graveyard keeper just like you. And he was mad about this portal. He was so imaginative. He knew so much. What happened to him? He just disappeared one day. Hasn't been seen or heard from since. I tried to find him, but nobody knew him. I even started thinking he was just a figment of my imagination. It was a hard time for me. Was his name Jerry? Actually, I don't know his name. We always used to call him by his nickname, Keeper. So, what about the portal? I think he found a way to activate it. It was something magical, so I don't remember. But it should be in his diary. 
Just before his disappearance, he gave me this key. It opens a metal gate in the northern part of the church cellar. Somewhere in there is a, where he kept his most important notes. Why didn't you take these notes? Oh, I tried, but there's a secret to this key. I tried for months to figure out how to how it works. Maybe it's just in my mind and the key opens nothing. Anyway, you can take it. Try to learn how the key works in the study table in the church cellar. When you have his diary, bring it to me and I will try to find some information about the portal. Thank you very much, astrologer. Uh, I do need your help in something else, though. I need ink and paper. Hmm, I have some. Actually, I have a lot of useful things. Some of it may be useful for a beginning scientist such as yourself. I can't stand those jumps at the university. I'd rather earn a little extra coin elsewhere. Very well, let us have a quick look. Oh, my lord, so expensive. So expensive. One day, we'll, we'll get super lots of all of this, and it'll be trivial for me to make this kind of money. But for right now, no. Silver, silver for two, what, for one? No, absolutely, positively not. Charlatan. Uh, right, let me go and have a quick look. Demonstrate that we are, we're talking to 12 carats, 12 cabbages, and 12 beets. The beets are gonna be a little bit difficult. Um, meet me on any day on which hill, I'm gonna have to do that. Gotta get you a bottle of wine. I think I'm gonna make you a bottle of wine, honestly. Uh, spends his time at the time drinking and playing dice. Talking donkey delivers bodies from a left wing stable. <laughs> okay. Uh, bring him a nine axe. I can almost certainly do that. Find ten paper, one ink. Uh, find a stamp and sell meat to Haradric. Bring four silver star fish fillets. Bring six moths. That uh, will not be too bad. At night time I'm going to have to look for them though. Um, and bring five honey pots. All right. Well, there's a couple of things we can do then. Quite a few. I guess we could just hang out, head back at night. Uh, we've. Well, we don't want to be out too long, otherwise we won't get to take part in the uh, the sermon. That would be rather dire for us. But clearly, I need to grab all of the honey. Oh, oh come here. Thank you. And then all of, well, we want to do some plant gathering, I think. That's how we're going to get moths at night time. I could dig this up. It'll probably give me, oh, well, is it going to give me a log? Uh, it is. I was hoping that it wouldn't, actually. I was hoping that this time it would instead just be some sticks. I would prefer sticks. It looked like a small tree. I thought I was in luck. I was not. I guess that is the sort of tree that will give me sticks. Very well, very well. Uh, could go and give my iron axe. Do I want to, though? The answer is a resounding no. I don't want to give up my iron axe, actually. I think I prefer it right where it is, and that is on me. That being said, though, I will have to do it eventually. Grab all that. Grab all these. This is awesome. We're going to be able to make so many fried mushrooms now. Absolutely wondrous. Also, some more poisonous mushrooms as well. Like that. There we go. Oh, halfway through the day. So we've got plenty of time. And I've got enough bread to fuel quite... Oh, there we are. Someone needs to talk to. Hello. Hi, I'm Tress. I'm the graveyard keeper. Nice to meet you. If you need some wooden materials, I'll be happy to help you. For some materials, you can visit my brother, Corey. For stone materials, rather. Very well. Uh, oh, well, okay. That's actually not too bad. Um, I could just buy a bunch of things. Sure, I'll buy all 20 of these. Just to help you out a bit, you know? I'll probably swing by and do that a few times. Can I have a chat with you? You're welcome, fella. Thank you. I could sell you crop waste, apparently. That'd be useful. Aha! Dairy farmer. Let's have a chit-chat. Good day, sir. We sell the finest dairy products in the village. Do you have any fresh beef? Oh, no, sir. The cows are our friends. We're not like those folks from the town. I bet they even eat human flesh. Uh, they think they're smarter than us. But I think they're just barbarians. I see. 
butter, cheese, bucket of milk, jug of milk. Ah, oh, glorious things. All sorts of glorious things that we are going to need to be able to make cakes. We all know how much we want cakes. Well, you should know. Uh, apparently I can break something there. Eh? Trade. Uh, I can just buy the honey. We're not going to. Ooh, I'm going to have to get down there. Deal with that. Rather sharpish. Thank you. Oh, well. Uh, I'll grab the honey while I'm here. I guess we can just gather the flowers while I'm out and about. I suppose that's not going to be so much of an issue. Uh, still, there's so many flowers there, and it's almost night time. But the body, the body, the body, the body. Uh, I need beets too, so... Yeah, I'll go and grab some beet seeds. I'm going to have to expand the farm quite significantly, I think. Trade. Beat, 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 beat. Beat seeds. Uh, good amount. Take all eight. Thank you. Alright, maybe we'll see Comrade Donkey on the way back. Maybe we won't. At the very least, I've got this log, so I don't feel that the day has been a complete waste. Hello, Comrade Donkey! <laughs> Not now! I wonder how we can improve our friendship level with Comrade Donkey. Because we can't see... Oh, well, I guess the... Uh, the grease for the wheel will, will will help with that a bit. Right, it's becoming night time. I'm not sure when the best time for uh, trying to gather the moths is going to be, but well, I guess we'll just find out. Right. Oh, one of them is ready. Marvelous. We'll just drop this off. Yoink! On the way, and then we'll head out to do a little bit of scavenging. What's my inventory like? Oh my lord, my inventory is messed up. Messed up. Alright. Let's go and just drop some of these things off. Cause, oh my lord. I approve! Uh, right. Drop all of that off. All of you as well. Oh my good lord. We've got quite a lot of stuff there. And some more bread. In fact, I'm going to drop that bread in there too. Right. Night time is here. At long last. And so that means time for us to get some other things done. Namely, hunting for moths. Right, are you ready for harvesting? You are! Glorious times! I'll take all of you. Carrots are good because we fertilized them. Yeah. Excellent. Right, let's drop all of this off then. There we go. And beet seeds as well. Carrot, wheat, hemp. Fantastic. Uh, actually, no, the carrots come with us. Thinking about that. Add these while I'm here. Okay, well, you know what? Farming is actually a much bigger concern now than it used to be. I know I said I was going to look for moths, but getting the farming up and running is a little bit of a higher priority, I think. Let's see what we can do. Uh, well, I guess we can just go and have a little bit of a hunt around. I want to use some of the first faith that I get, though, to research this key. Oh my lord, I forgot why I came back to the village instead of uh, staying out there anyway. My goodness. Uh, okay, not terribly bad. Um, we're going to go for a heart this time. We could lose both white skulls. If that's the case, then I guess it's just going to be cremated. No, no, it worked out well for us. Excellent. All right, let's get you all sorted. And the fat as well. Excellent. That worked out very, very well for us. Big body. Again, any of the important parts. One skull, white skull is lost. And if you don't have a white skull, I think it creates a red skull. And then a random number between one and two of a random skull from the list is, is removed as well. So it could be two red skulls. If there's more red skulls than white skulls, then go for it. Is my general advice on that one. Very general. It's not, not particularly well thought out, but uh, it seems that that will work. Uh, right, let's grab all of these flowers and hopefully we can find some moths. If, in fact, there are any here to be gathered. Nope, no moths yet. I might have forgotten how best to find moths then. Hmm. Troubling. Maybe I need to do things like... Uh, 
gather honey. Maybe that would be the way to get it. Chop down bushes, maybe? Gather berries from bushes? It's the other thing we can do. Hmm. Areas with fireflies might be an indication of where the moths are. I forget. I got moths so infrequently previously that I never really had an opportunity to oh, really pay attention to where they were coming from. Oh, damn, my inventory is just full of random gubbins. Uh, destroying the heart, then. Yoink. Uh, I really do actually need to go back to the... to drop this off, because I could get beeswax or all sorts of things. There's no point in just destroying things, just because I'm impatient. Hopefully we'll be able to get all of this done, though, before nightfall probably descends. Let's drop you off. I guess we could drop off the key. That's a little bit late now. Alright. Kind of a wasted opportunity there, I know. We'll uh, we'll come back to it, though. I'll get as much done as we can. Let's drop these off. There we are. I think we can some... Oh, no. I think we will sometimes accrue um, moths just from compost heap. If we're lucky, that'll, that'll be the case. Can I get you set up? Yes, I can. How about you? Yep. Good. Now, let's uh, finish all of this work if we can. There we go. Then we'll get all of this fertilized and planted. Right, so these for the hemp fields, so let's get them set up. And then we want... Uh, well, no, not beet. Hemp. There we are. They actually do look reasonably similar. Uh, there we go. And hemp. Get this one done. Beets now. We've got to get 12 beets, 12 cabbages, and 12 carrots for the uh, merchant. Oops. There we go. It is nice that it remembers what they were, but it's a bit unfortunate that it forgets whether you fertilized it or not. Uh, so I guess it's literally just going to have the carrots here. Got nothing else that I can do. We are eventually going to have to go and buy some more wheat seeds. Yeah, drop off those flowers too. Okay, well, time for us to go and take care of the sermon. Uh, that being said, mark you, let's first make some grave markers. We should have enough stone, I believe. Just need two, I think. And the two paths as well. That should give us all we want. I'll take my key with me as well. That way I can study that straight away. There we go. Doink. Excellent. Uh, in fact, I think I'll grab a couple of things to bring with me. So, uh, oh, really? Uh, no, there we go. Key. Prayer. We've not studied the brain, but it's a bit of a difficult one to study there. I'll take the skull, take the skin, and I guess I'll take the flesh. We'll see how that goes. We're not going to get that much faith, I, I doubt. We'll get a decent bit of money, though. And that's almost as good. Right, how much are we going to be able to get the graveyard up to with this? Because both of these can take a full... Uh, tombstone and the path around them. Yeah. This is a lot of work. Our character's going to be knackered at the end of this day. This one can even go further as well. Particularly nice. And there we go. Now, we do kind of want to talk to the bishop before we go in just to make sure that we've got this. Uh, I'm not the keeper. I was going home for work. Uh, so what am I supposed to do? As you are cleric now, you should be involved in the blessed activities. I've decided to open the soup kitchen for the poor near the cathedral. It'll help me improve my image. Apparently when they're hungry, my good looks stand out more. Ha ha ha. So I need a lot of cheaper bowls and I, it seems you have a clay deposit just in front of your church. Okay. Make some bowls for me and I'll give you a cleric's beginner's guide. It will give you your first few faith to start with. Also, I'll gladly buy any bread you have for the soup kitchen. For a special price, of course. 
I am, after all, representing his will. Okay, and that's unlocked gathering, uh... Really? Uh, okay. Uh, that's unlocked gathering clay, which is fantastic. Right, let's be about this then. We're not gonna get many pilgrims today, alas. We might not even succeed with this particular one, but we'll see what we can do. Our church is great. I don't know, just, it doesn't have the same ring to it. And now, let us pray for this blessing. Come on, bless it. Ah, oh, camera donkey, stay there, I need to give you the, the grease for the wheel. I need to grease the wheels. Nice, did it work? Yes, the donations are welcome. Great sermon, thank you. 17, very nice indeed. Thank you, thank you very much. Grab that on the way and hopefully Comrade Donkey is still there. Don't know if he will be though. Thank you. Comrade Donkey. Comrade Donkey, where are you? Please. Ah, poop. Oh, I know. Uh, maybe I can wait for Comrade Donkey to return. Hmm, which one are we going to go for now? Uh, I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to leave the body on the pallet for now. I want to go and do some research first. I wonder... We've got enough there for Comrade Donkey to make another visit. So that's okay. There's the clay down here, no doubt. Yeah, that'll be the clay pit. Okay, well, we can make some funeral urns as well. So we might actually be able to see how that's going to interact with the graveyard. That'd be particularly nice. Right, let's go and take this key. I think I can research it. Oh, uh, instructions for the key. You need to use the keeper's key with the, this instruction at the study table. All right, well, I guess we're not doing that one then. Uh, we are, however, doing this. And I'm finally getting tired. There we go, loads of faith. And sure, we'll research flesh. Loads of faith, hopefully, as well. There we are. 55 bloody th faith? That is amazing. That is truly amazing. Ah, I could have gathered them because I hadn't hadn't started. Ah, what a derp I am. All right, there we go. And winemaking. Glorious. I approve. Uh, we can get some better fertilizers as well, but that's going to require alchemy, so we're going to hold off on that for now. I could start making beer. But I don't think we're going to. Uh, I could get these. Uh, again, don't really think we're going to. I am going to need this, though. Paper crafting. It's going to be a scallywag. If I get the candelabras up and running, then that's going to be a big thing for us. Anatomy is not going to be a thing we're going to do yet. All right, paper crafting will unlock. And need just a little bit more hard work, and we've got that as well. Uh, okay, I'm gonna need glass making to make the study table. The church workbench is gonna cost me a bit as well. We haven't unlocked candelabras, but how much do I need for the pews? I think it was, yeah, wooden planks. That in and of itself isn't too hard for us to do. But the candelabras are gonna be the better option for us early on. Right. We're knackered. Let's go to bed. Have a nice long sleep. And on the morrow, we'll take care of that corpse. Uh, not as much done today as I had hoped, but uh, still, not a bad day, all things considered. We've got loads of wood piling up as well, which is actually quite nice. I'm not going through fuel nearly as quickly as we used to. Right. But that's going to be it for this episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. We're probably going to complete a couple of quests in the next episode, I imagine. Uh, simply because we're going to have the honey. We're hopefully going to start getting the moths now. We'll see how that goes. But that is it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care of yourselves.